Hi guys, welcome back. This is again Dream Shipwrecked and I'm Grim Lock again as usual. Can we <laughs> say usual? We are... after... Can we say Sorry? usual after two? I, I guess. I mean, I think that uh, if you're doing five or so videos, it's going to be pretty usual by then. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, a little bit of thing about the cards here, they are broken into suits, the black ones are your normal, like, punch-in-the-face soldiers, while the red ones are going to be a bit stronger and also shoot at you. You'll see I threw the knife there, because believe it or not, the knife throw is the most, um, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, because it is, does not use any of your mana, and basically you can shoot someone for a really long time with your cards and it wouldn't do as much damage. So we'll be doing a lot of that. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. But now we're going for a balloon ride! Yay! Alright! I love balloon rides. Use the key to I've been reading a book recently called uh, Leviathan. It's about like a weird like a zeppelin animal thing. It's really interesting. Oh, give it a, a look then. Now this is a good uh, airship, but it definitely needs more chain guns and missile launchers. <laughs> I don't think you could hold stuff up if you uh, threw anything else on there. It's a pretty tiny balloon. Hey, he's happy. He's dancing. Hey, Not dance. really sure where he came from, but you know, he's happy. Well, there are. Okay, he, he's dead. Yeah, now he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Rip that guy. <clears throat> well. I, I was gonna say this is a war with balloon ships, so he could get there, but then he's died. Where you'll find certain <laughs> items for creating a concoction that will make you small. Oh, we're still Not going after that. Exactly. Oh yeah, we, we gotta get through all that. The game kind of kind of follows Alice in Wonderland's plot, but in a I very don't, vague don't sense. Them. You'll know them when you see them. Speaking of seeing things, we uh -oh. should avoid oh. card guards. Well. Hang on. I like how there's this, like, this bridge that just goes to nowhere. It's just black void behind the bridge. So, why is it even there? It's the landing pad, come on! Yeah, I guess so. That makes sense. Is that a mushroom on his flag? I think so, yeah. Kinda look like one. And we're getting shot to hell. It's okay, we'll be fine. Yeah, they got shit aim. <laughs> Eventually. Must break through such walls, but for now, jump. You couldn't just j throw me on the wall. I have to jump down and be on the side. Okay, thanks, asshole. You, you couldn't throw me inside. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, it cards. It cards. Come on, eat it. Wait, that's cannibalism. He is a card. It's kind of weird uh, killing cards with cards. It's like, is that some sort of weird like? Is it like beating someone to death with a femur or something? Yeah, I was gonna say that, like throwing bones at people. <laughs> or, or, or actually just throwing whole heads. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, they have this whole platform section here that leads to absolutely nowhere. I don't know why it's even there. Because Wonderland! Oh! <laughs> so you saw back there, we picked a few things. There's a few different kinds of pickups. Um, there's Meta Essence, which are the diamonds and the hearts that uh, will refill both things. And then there's some that are purely health, some of them are purely mana. And here we meet the worst enemy of the entire game, the goddamn Boojums. Oh, hi there! Yeah, I remember these assholes. <sighs> they are really tough, they fly around a lot, and they will absolutely blow you off of a platform if you're anywhere near it. They suck so hard. Well, blow, but yeah. Yeah, literally blow. They stream at you. <laughs> Luckily, they drop a lot of uh, health and mana too, so that's nice. But still, kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, this game is a kind of a goes right between like. There's some sections that are really combat heavy. There's some that are just all platforming. And unfortunately, Alice's platforming leaves something to be desired at times. But. It's not that bad really, but it's clearly not the focus of the game. So now we, this, we're kind of jumping around, it's not really a uh, continuous mode because hey, it's Wonderland! Time to raise oh, this is gonna be fun! 
<laughs> well, not that being sprayed in the eyes is fun, but... Demon Alice! I wonder if this is symbolic. Probably not. I think she wants to slice the hell out of someone. Come on, get him, get him. Yeah, yeah cut in half. Kill all of them. Off with his head. On the red streets of blood. <laughs> that was beautiful. And unfortunately, it's only limited, but we got what we needed out of it. Hey, right, we got the fun out of it. <laughs> And it's back to normal. Sorry? Back to normal. Yeah, back to normal. Back to really waiting parts like this. Fun fact, uh, I was just thinking about that. Uh, the phrase dogs of war does not actually represent to... It doesn't mean actual dogs. It just means like chucks, like something that you put under something to stop it. So the dogs of war loose just means that you're not holding them back anymore. Ah. I learned that did, the other day. Didn't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> I always thought they meant literal, like, war dogs. Yeah, it makes sense, really, but... No, I didn't mention it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, English is weird. Ooh. Yep. Going in or, a door. Well, the or, door is going around us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that I have an old copy of this game, because trying to find it nowadays to actually play it is a royal pain in the ass. Because no one publishes it anymore because it's really old. And the publisher that made it, which is Rogue, went out of business. So the, literally the only way to legitimately get it is either to have a really old copy of it on discs, or to have pre-ordered uh, Madness Returns, which this was a remastered um, pre-order bonus for. And, it's, and you might... Sorry? It, it sits in this weird place in video game history where... It's not old enough to get, like, the GOG treatment, but it's not new enough to be still being published. And with the publisher dead, it, there's no way it's gonna get out on Steam or anything like that now. Oh, absolutely. I think, I mean, EA has it, so they could put it on Origin if they really wanted to. But, but it's EA, come on. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. They don't care. They really just don't give a shit. The weird thing is that they went through all that effort of remastering it and making it work for modern PCs for the pre-order bonus, but then just didn't sell it by itself. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of people who would pay money to play this. I would. Some people, at least. Yeah, exactly. But, well, then again, it's EA, so... Oh, door again! Yeah, this is a puzzle where we had to match the tones that played while those doors were closing. Um, hopefully you actually noticed these lovers down here and weren't like me the first time wandering around forever trying to find where we're supposed to go. That's a common trend in this game, hidden stuff that it's absolutely critical to beat in the game that you have no way of seeing. Absolutely. Oh, oh Matt Hatter! Hi there, Matt Hatter! Yeah. Apparently he's the Dean. <laughs> Yeah, it's there's only actually one real like hidden secret thing in the entire game, but just the general gameplay requires a lot of just random exploration. And I mean, even the hidden thing, it's just an extra weapon. You can and you get several chances to actually get it. So I think I know what you Oh, oh, nice save. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. Yeah, it is, uh, it's pretty bloody for the time. It's like, this is, uh, I think it's built on the Quake engine, but it's, uh, pretty bad. And it's kind of hard to say, speaking of old engines, but these guards are supposed to be really skinny and emaciated, other than being literally made of paper, um, because they're supposed to be starving. Same thing with the, uh, Cheshire Cat. He is starving and bony, but he also, you'll see, like, he has a bunch of, like, brown marks. Those are actually tattoos, and he has, like, an earring and all that now, so apparently he's going through an edgy phase. It's not an it's not a phase, Mom. You don't understand me, Mad Hatter. <laughs> this is real fun, trying to oh, get up yes. an edge. This looks like an amazing amount of fun. <laughs> like, almost illegal amount of fun. This should be regulated. <laughs> Call the government. No. Oh. oh. 
pot clenching moment. <laughs> let, let me unclench a bit. And I will say that uh, I did a lot of these runs will include with someone dying. Like a lot of people will cut those out, but Alice dies in so many different ways that I left most of them in. So you never know when you might suddenly die. This puzzle is really dumb, because as far as I can tell, you can't actually tell which one is the real one. So you kind of just have to randomly guess. Oh, so it's a game of cups without showing you where the, the ball is in the first place. Well, it's like they show you where it is, but like then they, when they shuffle them together, they, you can't actually see which one goes where. Like if you look at it now, you can't tell which one that was. So which door is it that you're moving? Who knows? It's annoying, but it is what it is. And you're looking for the green one, then? Exactly. The red doors are the outdoors, green doors are the indoors. And it, it, that applies to all, all portals. God damn it, really? Oh, it... Hmm. Yeah, there's I no think... way to do it. Legit, legit. Like, figure yeah. it out. The only thing I could think of is that whether they, like, the first one that gets on the plate is the one in the back or something. Okay, there we go. Yay, there we go. Yay. I see a lot of tentacles around. I wonder if that's oh, oh. meaningful. And we're uh, going to see you guys next time. Well, bye-bye.